There is this small possibility of some storms as we head into tonight, but so far the storms are struggling to form. We had a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings near Bismarck, but the cell that was bringing some severe thunderstorms near Bismarck it looks like it's weakening too, and that's basically that's because there's dry air lingering in our region and the storms are fighting against that dry air. There's instability at the surface, so there's that for the storms at least, and that's thanks to the fact that we're under a warm air mass east of this cold front right here. But as we head into the overnight hours, this cold front will push through. It'll make use of some of that instability. So we could end up seeing an isolated severe storm as we head into the overnight hours. Most of the storm activity will happen on Sunday. Any storms that do form over the next couple of hours could have large hail high winds associated with them. And speaking of tomorrow, we still have a marginal risk in place for the for southeastern North Dakota. Uh, in most of Lakes Country. So isolated severe storms are possible on Sunday afternoon as the cold front moves into our region. So let's go over tonight first. Again, it looks like aside from an isolated you know, severe storm in the northern Devil's Lake Basin, uh, the threat is not as severe as was expected earlier today because again, any storms that form tonight are having to fight some of that dry air. But as we get into tomorrow morning, more strong storms are expected to pop up in the Red River Valley, making the way into Lakes Country. So by around five to six o'clock, we could see some strong storms popping up in Lakes Country. So we'll be keeping an eye on that morning commute. More scattered showers and storms move through Lakes Country during the morning and afternoon hours. And some of those storms again could produce some uh, hail and gusty winds. So we're going to be keeping an eye on tomorrow afternoon and evening as well. Summertime downpours are also expected with those showers and storms, which could end up causing some issues. Is excuse me, issues. It's not until Monday morning that we're basically done with the rain, leaving behind clearing skies. How much rain are we expecting uh, tonight into uh, Monday morning? Well, most of the rain should be concentrated in the southern lakes country in the southern half of the Red River Valley. It's indicated by the green and yellow colors. Areas between half an inch to two inches of rain are possible with any of the stronger storms that end up moving through heading into uh, the afternoon and evening hours. Well, what about the heat? One other thing we're looking at is the heat as we head into next week. Currently, as of tonight, temperatures are in the 80s, so it's pretty warm if you're heading out for right now, dropping into the low 70s tomorrow morning. Then as we head into Monday, we'll be in the 80s. Tuesday and Wednesday, notice this patch of red out west in the south moving into eastern North Dakota. That represents temperatures in the 90s for Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday still in that deep red color and even for Friday much of eastern North Dakota and western Minnesota in that deep color indicating temperatures in the upper 80s. So it's going to be pretty toasty as we head into the next few days. After a Monday though we should end up staying dry for most of next week. I think only a couple isolated chances here and there for Tuesday and Wednesday. Really, the thing you got to be worried about is the heat. Yep. Once again, being in the low 90s. Staying hot. Thanks, Joseph. Hey, we've all seen the smoke from the wildfires in Canada this summer, but one North Dakota family has.